Erhard Haydn, the 23rd of February, 1901, in 1933, was a significant figure in the early days of the Nazi party and played a crucial role as the third commander of the Schutzstaffel SS, the paramilitary wing of the Sturmabteilung SA. This video delves into his life and career, shedding light on his role in the rise of the Nazi party. Early life and entry into politics. Erhard Haydn was born on the 23rd of February, 1901 in Weilersimmerberg, a Bavarian city. His early life remains shrouded in mystery, with limited information available. In 1917, he attended the NCO school in Furstenfeldbruck. However, it was the turbulent times of post-World War I Germany that would shape his political journey. Following Germany's defeat in World War I, the nation grappled with hyperinflation, mass unemployment, and civil unrest. During this period, Haydn joined a Free Corps unit in 1919. It was also in 1919 that the German Workers' Party DAP, was established in Munich, which later evolved into the National Socialist German Workers' Party NSDAP, or the Nazi Party in 1920. Early involvement in the Nazi Party as hecklers and protesters attempted to disrupt Adolf Hitler's speeches at party meetings in late 1919 and early 1920, the need for protection became evident. Thus, the Sturmabteilung SA, or Storm Detachment, was born, and Erhard Haydn became an early member of both the Nazi Party and the SA. In 1923, he joined a personal bodyguard unit for Adolf Hitler named Stostrup Hitler, Shop Troop E. Hitler. The year 1923 was significant for the Nazis as they attempted to seize power in Munich, inspired by Benito Mussolini's March on Rome. However, the Beer Hall Putsch on 9 November 1923 failed, resulting in the disbandment of the Nazi Party and its associated formations, including the Stostrup. Rise and Fall in the SS Erhard Haydn's career took a new turn after Hitler's release from prison in December 1924 when he ordered the formation of a new bodyguard unit, the Schutzkommando, Protection Command, SS. In 1925, this unit evolved into the Sturmstaffel, Storm Squadron, and later the Schutzstaffel, Protection Squadron, SS. Haydn, a former police informer, joined the SS in 1925. His leadership began in earnest on 1 March, 1927 when Joseph Birchtold transferred leadership of the SS to him. However, Haydn struggled to manage the SS under the shadow of the larger SA. He imposed a strict code of discipline and aimed to recruit higher quality members to create an elite unit. Nevertheless, SS membership dwindled from 1,000 to 280 during his tenure. In September 1927, Heinrich Himmler, with his enthusiasm and organizational skills, became Haydn's deputy, gradually overshadowing him. In January 1929, Himmler assumed the position of Reichsführer SS, with differing accounts for Haydn's dismissal, officially cited as family reasons. It was rumored that Haydn associated with Jews and profited from clothing sales to the SS. Historians have also speculated about his ineffectiveness and potential role as a police informer. Under Himmler's leadership, the SS expanded significantly, becoming one of Germany's most powerful organizations. Tragic End In March 1933, Erhard Haydn's life took a tragic turn. After a visit to his friend Emil Maurice, he was arrested while having dinner in Munich. Subsequently, he disappeared, and his body was found in August 1933 near Erding. The circumstances surrounding his death remain mysterious. Conclusion Erhard Haydn's life and career reflect the complex and tumultuous early years of the Nazi party. His role as the third commander of the SS, although short-lived and overshadowed, is a significant chapter in the history of the organization. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.